Hello, we are live. I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name is Cindy. I'm with Reinvented Delaware. Today, we're going to make over this cute little table. I've already started it. It's going to be a really easy makeover. I'm going to show you some other ideas. We're going to get to that, but I'm going to show you some other ideas of the same technique, the same method that I'm going to use here. And I have a surprise back here. If we have time, I'm really hoping that we have time. We're going to make time. We're just going to do it. Anyway, just as a disclaimer, I have cliff notes because I don't want to forget to tell you anything. So if you see me checking my notes, that's exactly what I'm doing because I want to cover everything. So first off, let me just ask you to subscribe to our channel. Here we always do makeovers. We do furniture makeovers and that kind of thing. But we also do small home decor pieces. We do a lot of thrifting, a lot of upcycling, and we just really enjoy doing that. We also share our journeys when we go out thrifting or going to auctions or yard sales and all that. So I would love it if you would join us. Go ahead and click subscribe now and give me a thumbs up while you're right there. I mean, just help a girl out, right? Because it really does tell YouTube that you're interested and that you want to see this kind of content. So it actually helps you too, because then you'll see more of this kind of thing. So there's that. Um, I also want to say that I have a blog, reinventeddelaware.com, and I have about 250 tutorials of all sorts. A lot of furniture makeovers in the vintage style that we all love so much. Lots of those makeovers, lots of home decor projects of the upcycles and thrifting that we've done over the years. And I want you to join me. So if you go, if you click right below this video, it's going to say, what does it say? It says, see more. If you click on that, it'll expand. And then I have a little sign up for form for you right there to go and sign up for my email. And then I'll just send you the free tutorials right to your inbox. You don't even have to think about it. I just send you the fun stuff and, and everybody enjoys that. Um, and I am going to have a blog post. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'll show you the little project that I have a blog post live right now on my blog that shares the upcycles that I'm going to show you. And it also shares about eight of my friends. We all got together and we kind of linked up our projects and said, hey, let each other's followers see what you've done and I'll show what I've done and all that back and forth. So when you go over to my blog today at reinventeddelaware.com, you're going to see a post called Upcycling Junk. And when I show you the afters, because I can't show you the before, it's already done. But when I show you the afters, you are not going to believe it when you go to that post and you look at the before shots of this junk that just looks amazing right now. Today, we're going to talk about, and the main project that we're going to talk about is this little table. So first off, I had to do this in steps so that I could show you what I was doing. We're going to go over all of the products that I used. All of the products are going to be linked below in that show, show, no, I'm sorry, it says see more in the see more section. I've got them all linked below. So don't worry about making notes or any of that because I've got, I've taken care of it for you. It's all down there. But it's this little table that we're going to make over. Now, my husband and I love to go out thrifting and auctioning, of course. And we found this little table, I think, I think in fact, he found it at an auction maybe last summer. I mean, I've had it for a little while and I've been anxious to get to it. You can see that I've got some paint. I've got some primer on it and then I've got some paint. We're going to talk about that, but look at the color that it was. See this orange? Look at that. The whole thing was orange. And that's not really my look. I'm not a fan of that kind of a look. So we had to get rid of it. The first step that I did after I cleaned it, so I gave it a really good cleaning and just with a damp cloth and a microfiber cloth, it's really good at grabbing the dirt. And honestly, it just was not that dirty. So I just wiped it down really good. And then today, earlier today, I gave it two coats of a sealing primer. This is called Dixie Belle Boss and it is a sealing primer. This is the white. It comes in clear and it also comes in gray. So depending on what color you might paint or what your final effect is, it will depend on what color primer that you want to use. I just keep all three on hand. This here required two coats of the primer, and this is the look that you get. It's, let's see, I got my lights on here, so can you, you can kind of see through it a little bit. It goes on streaky. That's very normal for primer. That's exactly what primer is supposed to do. It's completely dry. 
And I did the same to the top. And then when I was finished, when it was all finished drying, I painted two coats of a really beautiful chalk paint called um, Dried Sage. This is by Dixie Belle too. Now I have the chalk paint listed below, but I didn't list this one specifically. I just listed all the colors because I want you to go to the site and see the gorgeous colors that Dixie Belle has to offer. I have two other colors over here I'm going to show you, but this is the color that I chose for the table. And it is like a neutral green. I mean, look at this. It's like a gray green. It's very neutral. It doesn't scream green, nice and soft. And when I applied it, when I applied all four coats, so the two coats of the primer and then the two coats of the paint, after I got all the paint on, I used my paintbrush in all different directions like this. I kept turning the brush and going in all different directions with these short little strokes because I wanted some texture on here. I didn't just want a flat finish uh, without texture. It wasn't the look that I was going for. So I, after the paint was on there and it was completely dry, like I said, I just took that brush in all different directions, all over, just like this. It was so much fun. It's kind of relaxing to just not worry about it and just go all over. Now, I don't think you're going to see it on camera. I don't. Let me try. Yeah. Uh, can't really show you. But here, I can see the paint strokes. It's really kind of pretty that way. But I want to decorate that top a little bit. And to decorate it, we're going to use a transfer. So transfers come in like a tube, like this one. This is called the, the Vintage Post transfer. There are four sheets of transfers in here. And here, let's see, yeah, you can see all four. I've used, how many have I used? I've used three of them in other projects. And then today, we're going to use this one right here on this table. Let me show you what that looks like. So when you take the transfer out of the tube, it's all rolled up together like that. Let me roll it back up. I had it laying out so I could get it to flatten out a little bit. It comes rolled up like that. You open it up and look what you get. Oh, wow. You're seeing my lights in there as well. The reflection from my, I have a lot of lights going on in my room. Isn't that pretty? It's like French script. It's just so pretty. Look at all those roses. So lovely. Now this is more of a one all, oh, I'm sorry. I think I just messed up the microphone. Sorry about that. This is more like a all in one, um, all over design. That's what I'm looking for. It's more like an all over design. And some of the transfers, and I'll show you on one that we're going to work on, they're separate designs. So you can cut them apart. You don't have to use them as one sheet. So you really get a lot for your money with these transfers. And this one is just an all over design. We're going to put that on the top. I'm going to show you how to do that. You get four sheets of the transfers. Then you get these little sticks. And this is the, um, what do you call that? Burnishing. This is the burnishing stick. You get one in each one. And uh, that just helps you to get the transfer on. I don't need the scissors here. Let's put that there. Before I start applying the transfer, I do want to show you two of the projects that I did in the blog post that I just mentioned. So the blog post that I just mentioned is live on my blog. It's reinventeddelaware.com. You're going to see it on my homepage. These were the storage boxes that you can see. They're usually in graduated sizes, like maybe there would have been one more small one. And they would have had all different kinds of prints back in the 80s, you know, it would have been a certain kind of print and you know how it is. Styles just go out. I saw these at the thrift store for about a dollar and they're really the heavy. They're really heavy. I painted them all out in Dixie Bell's drop cloth. This color is called drop cloth. So you can see it's a little different than that sage. Where is that? Well, it's not going to show up on camera. Remember the sage is a little more green. This is called drop cloth. It's really one of their most popular colors, so pretty. And then you see the stencil that I have on top of it. Not stencil, it's a transfer on top of it. Isn't that so pretty? So it makes the storage box, just brings it up to date, super pretty. And here was the other one. You could see I, I worked around the top and the corner. I didn't put it on the bottom, obviously, 
but I made the transfer go around the corners and I was very careful how I cut and put it on there. But isn't that so pretty? I just, I love how that looks. So, you know, you could use these storage boxes. We're all, we're all into organizing right now. Like January is the month to organize. So we're all getting our act together and getting rid of stuff and getting things organized and all that. Um, here is another thing. This is my one of my favorite projects, so I wanted to save it for now. This is one of those transfers in, in the roll I just showed you. you. get four of them. So I did the two boxes. By the way, I have some left over from those two boxes on that sheet or two sheets. Yeah, actually, I have, I have quite a bit of that left over. I forgot about. Then this was a one solid sheet. I was able to put that on. When you listen, you got to hop over to my blog post because you will not believe what this three dollar tray looked like. And what I what was in here was so ugly and so disgusting. It I don't even know how it was cute in its time, but I'm sure that it was. We're not going to be critical here, but it wasn't pretty now. So we totally made it over. I want you to see what it looked like. So hop over to my blog. I've got that blog post linked down below in that see more section. I got to get a drink of water. Golly, dang, I'm really talking a mile a minute, aren't I? Anyway, I want you to see that. So pop over there. But we totally made this over. The color of this chalk paint, this Dixie Belle color, is called French Linen. It's just a warm gray. So pretty, just so pretty. But isn't that a nice tray? And I think I'm going to use this in our guest room. I could put uh, a stack of towels, little candies. I mean, I could just deck this out, set it right on the bed. It's all ready when we have a guest come. And just it would just look so elegant and so beautiful and so welcoming in our guest room. So that's one of the designs. So let's get to putting this one on. Let's see. Let's stick this over here. You should see my room. I have stuff all over the place. So the design that we're working on today, I just showed you, is that one. Yeah, that's so pretty. And we're going to apply that right here to the top. Let's see if this is going to be tall enough for you. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing, but I also, I need another table is what I need. Oh yeah, you can see this. Yeah, you can see that just fine. Perfect. Okay, great. So the sheets of transfer, they come with like in sections. There's like the clear section, and then there's this backing paper. And you want to be careful about not handling this too much without the backing paper. Because this side of the transfer, I can feel it with my finger. It's a little bit sticky. And if you're not careful, if you were to stick that on there, some of the design might come off. So just bear that in mind as you're using this. And I had mishaps, and I might have a mishap today. And that's just fine. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm just going to lay out the design just the way I think it would look nice. I kind of tested this earlier of the look that I wanted and I kind of want it to be, let's see, do I want that at an angle? I kind of think I want it at an angle, maybe not. I don't know, what do you think? So are we getting any comments? I don't see any comments yet. Feel free to comment. And in the chat, I can read the chat and I'll try to answer it out loud. I think my husband is in the other room and he might be answering some of the uh, some of the questions for me too. So I do appreciate you being here and watching. I really do appreciate that. Make sure that you check down in the see more section below the video so you don't miss anything because I got some good links down there for you. All right, so I think what I've decided to do is just go ahead and lay this flat square to the table. And I know I have lots of extra. That is okay. I'm not worried about that. I will use this in some other way. I'm sure of it. So I've got this laid out. Where are my scissors? And there are my scissors. And basically what I'm doing is I'm making sure I have enough overhang. Okay. And I'm going to cut off some of the excess so that I don't accidentally damage this part of the transfer like I was just telling you. So I see where I've got to cut that. I'm going to take that over here and I'm going to cut that off. Yeah. You do have to be kind of careful. I did ruin one of my transfers one time. And I, um, let me just make sure that about that again. Let's just see here. Got to be patient with this old lady. 
All right, so I have plenty of overhang. I'll have a little bit of waste, but that's okay. And then let's see, I'm gonna cut. Oh, I hate to mess up that part of the design, but I think I have to just above there. Okay, now I see where I've got to cut. So there's a little bit of waste here and that's going to happen just depending on your particular project. I mean, you might not find a little table the size of mine. Yours might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. But this section here, I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to find a use for this somehow, some way. But my table, it measures, uh, golly, I don't know. It's about 12 inches square. It's not that big. Just a sweet little table. I, I was trying to remember exactly what he spent on it. It was not quite $5. I can tell you that because I'm real tight as far as spending money and he knows that. Okay, so I know exactly where this is going to go. I know that I have plenty of excess hanging over the edge. So I'm going to lift the, this up, remove that backing. And because I already know where it's going to go, I'm just going to carefully lay this down. I'm eyeballing to make sure I've got the right amount of overhang and all that good stuff. And I probably should have put my glasses on, but there goes, it's done. All right, but you can't lift it up. If I lifted this up, possibly some of those bits of the transfer would come off. I'm just gonna lay it down. Let me show you what this looks like. There you go. You can tell, yeah, you can see right through here that I, I left myself some overhang and um, I know I'm gonna be just fine. It's it's kind of stuck on there. It's kind of tacky like a, like a post-it note, but it's not completely adhered. And in order to do that, we're going to use this burnishing tool that comes with it. <clears throat> All righty. This is simple. I want to make sure I've got you in here. You know what? Let's turn the camera down. Let's do this. I don't know. Is that better? I hope. I hope it is. I got to keep my microphone. I want you to hear what I'm saying. There we go. Does that work for you? I hope it does. All right. So I'm basically going to work from the center out. And it's just a matter of taking this flat edge of this stick right here and burnishing it on. Now I've, I've applied from the center out. I've also applied a transfer from one edge to the other. You can do that either way you like, either way that you prefer, whatever works best for you. With a, with a big one like this, maybe I should have started at the end and then worked over. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you that way. All right, so I'm just burnishing along here. And <clears throat> all we're doing is rubbing with a nice um, firm, how do I phrase that? Firm pressure to release that transfer design off of the transfer sheet. Can you tell that I'm talking and doing at the same time and that that's a challenge? Um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> I wanna see if I can show you what's happening here. I'm not sure the camera's gonna pick it up. Let's see if I can show this at the right angle. Oh, golly, you can't tell. Well, from my view, I can see from right here. I don't think you can see it. There are dark edges. That part has not transferred off of the film. This one where it's a little bit lighter, it has attached itself to the table. I hope I explained that well. But I can see it right here as it is. It's like peeling off of the clear thing. So easy to use. Got to get a little frustration out. This is a great project for that. You put on a podcast, you put on an audio book, and you just go to town. Just a nice little project to work on. You know, it's it's winter, and we just need some creativity, don't we? I mean, we can't get outside. I don't know about you, but it's cold in Delaware, and I just need things to do on the inside of the house, and this is a great project for that. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Maybe you can tell. Compare, see how light colored this one is in comparison to that? Because I haven't even tried this, but you can see that it's lighter. That's because it is, it is adhering to that table. 
Yeah, really nice. So I do want to keep an eye on the time. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I want to help you uh, answer your questions. Let's just go look here. Oh, we have somebody. Thank you so much for giving me that super thanks. I really do appreciate that. I don't know if you know, but you can give me, I think it's called a, a thanks. Uh, down below the video, you'll see a little, a little icon. I think it has a dollar sign. I can't remember what it looks like. I've given, I've given super thanks to uh, video creators that I watch. And it's just like a, like you're buying me a cup of coffee for teaching you how to do something. It's just such a sweet thing. So thank you so much for doing that. Appreciate it. See, my husband is answering some questions. So I'm going to keep working while he's, he's over there answering. If you have any questions, please ask. I would love to help you out with something like this. If, if maybe you have not made over a little piece of furniture like this and you just, you're like, where do I start? Go ahead and ask. And maybe that would be a future video. And we could, um, I gotta take my socks off. Hang on just a second. Golly day. We're really good friends now, aren't we? Uh, and if, if you've never made over a piece of furniture though, and you're just wondering like, where do I start? What do I do? Help me out. Hey, just, just go ahead and ask. And maybe we could make a whole video on that. I would love to do that. All right, so let me see where we are. I'm gonna start to lift this up. Yeah, oh yeah, this is perfect. Now I have to move my mic. I hope you can still hear me, but I gotta, there we go. I gotta show you what's going on here. All right, you see that? You can see the area, that part is not touching the table cause it's on one of these scalloped edges, but you can see look at there. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be so pretty. I'm afraid to lift it too much, but let's just give this a try because I do want to show you this one, this one corner. Now we're not going to finish this one here today because it's a lot. You see, that's pretty dense. So there's a lot of that going on and I don't want to hold you up that late. So we're not going to finish this one, but I will finish this project and I will post a picture of it as a community post here on YouTube tomorrow. So make sure that you subscribe. I don't want you to miss my community post on that because I want you to see. Now that's a good example right here. See how that is still stuck to there. That did not come off on the table because that was the overhang. Here where it did come off and I don't really want it there, I'm just going to take a little sandpaper and take that right off. But let's show you what that looks like. Oh, isn't that pretty? So just imagine with me this whole thing on there. Isn't that going to be pretty? I cannot wait. So make sure that you subscribe. I don't want you to miss my community post on that. Um, I tell you, I have lights. Like I have a light there. I have a light here. I have lights all over the place. It's hot in here. It's so hot. So thanks for letting me take my socks off. Okay, so where are we going to go next? All right, I did not show you this, but I mentioned that there was a blog post. I'm really excited about this part. I mentioned to you that there was a blog post of the storage boxes of that tray and also my bullet journal. So one of those transfers in that same package I used to cover this journal. This is a really big journal. I, I happen to use it to keep track of my life. It's like my date book but I wanted the outside to be pretty. It was all just this gray and I wanted it to be pretty. So I took one of those transfers. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And I covered it. So this $17 journal, I just upped it to about $50 because this would not be cheap in a store. So I got this on Amazon. I can't remember if I linked it below. I'll try to link it when we're done. And you could use one of those sheets in the transfer to cover a beautiful journal. And that's what we're getting ready to do because I have another journal. So before I get to that, let me show you some of the other designs for uh, the transfers that Dixie Bell has. This one is called Magnolia, can't read backwards, Magnolia Garden. Magnolias are so popular right now. I did a dresser, one of my daughters and I, we did a dresser and we covered the dresser 
with this design. Oh my gosh, it turned out so pretty. This is a beautiful one. I have all the transfers are linked below. It's just one link that will go to all the transfers. There's no way I could have linked them all because there are so many transfers to choose from. Here's another, I cannot wait to use this one and I don't know what yet, but it's called Cotton and Eucalyptus. Isn't that pretty? Look at all this beautiful eucalyptus and those cotton uh, bowls. I think that's how you pronounce it. And in all of them, you get four sheets. So it shows you on the back, all four sheets, really a great deal. Uh, there's one more here, and then I can't wait to show you the next one because we're going to use it. I was thinking with spring and summer coming, this is called dewy morning. Look at all these beautiful blooms, and they're all separate. Those are all separate, so you could cut them apart and use them in all sorts of ways. They don't all come as big as they did on that tray, so they come like that, and you can cut them apart, which is so cool. The one, let me get to it, the one we're going to do now, I'm going to mess up this word. Can you say it out loud? Like wherever you are, just say that word. Bohemian. Yeah, I think I said it. That was like a word from back in the day. Now we're calling it boho, but this is bohemian <laughs> wedding. And look at the designs on this. Isn't that pretty? There's one, there's two sheets in here. They come together and they mirror one another. So I'm going to turn this. Can't you imagine this big thing like just all together, like over top of the bed. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Cause it's just a, such a pretty design. Look up close at these flowers. Look at all this, isn't it pretty? I'm gonna pick out one of these because I have another journal, just like the one that I just showed you, only it's white. Now I have several journals. I'm a journal nerd, I love journals. Whoops, oh that's fine. See, it just rolls up and it's, it's no worries. But I'm kind of a journal nerd. And this is just like the gray one, only I got it in white. And I'm doing kind of something, kind of something interesting this year with this. I'm actually writing out the book of Psalms. I know that sounds overwhelming, but each morning I'm literally writing out, let's get to one, about four or five verses in the mornings while I have it a cup of coffee. So I want my journal to just look really beautiful. When I think of the Psalms, I just think of of calm. Like it's just, you know, very peaceful kind of words that are encouraging. So what I decided to do was to take this journal and then I pulled out one of the sheets. Look how big the sheets are. I pulled out one of the sheets and I'm going to decide which one of these designs. Can you see it's, I can cut around this and then it's a separate design. Each one of these is separate. So I am going to cut, I think this one, I don't know, I'm just kind of imagining this one kind of in the corner. I'm going for it. Let me just cut it out. Let's get this thing on there. I cannot wait. It'll be so pretty. The colors are just so luscious and gorgeous. Let me cut this one out and I'll show you what I mean about how I cut it out. And look at that. I have all this left over. Like if you made these as Christmas gifts, it would be unbelievable because you could buy one package of this stuff and make several journals and give them to your girlfriends at Christmas. They would love it. You would have fun doing it. And everybody likes a handmade gift, you know? Okay. So this one we're going to finish. I know we've been here for a half an hour, but I just, I just got to do this. So here's what I'm thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to get another drink of water. You and I are just chatting it up. I think I'm doing most of the talking, but we're having a good time. Alrighty, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I lay it that way? Should I go kind of like that? Ooh, that's pretty. Golly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could mess this up because I think I'm going to like it either way. You're going to love how this looks on there. I don't know. What do you think? That way? Let me know somebody. Um, I, I kind of need to know what do you think. This is option number one. Let me know that. Option number one or option number two. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. I want to know. Oh, somebody's saying I love both. Somebody loves number one. Okay, so this is option number one. 
that's kind of where I'm leaving. This one, one, lots of people are saying one. That one's two. I think y'all are all saying one, so that's what we're doing. We are going with number one. So I'm going to remove that backing. I'm going to be careful because that's the back side of this. It's a little sticky. That's what the back side looks like. There. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's the front side. So pretty. Look at all those colors. Okay. Yeah, one. Everybody's saying one. That's exactly what we're doing. I'm going to lay this on here. And maybe you're thinking, whoa, is that going to stick to the journal? Well, remember the gray one. And that has been like that since December. Let me get you in a little closer. Get this thing out of the way. All right, let's get you in here. Ooh, there we go. I hope you can see this. Let's tilt down a little bit. I hope that's helpful. I can only get so close if you understood my little setup here. So I've got it laid where I want it. I'm not going to move it because that's where it's staying. And I'm going to start down at this end and I'm just going to rub, rub that on. It's just going to burnish that right into that. Um, this is like a pleather. It's not real leather. The journal itself only cost about $17 which is a great price for this journal. The paper is so nice to write on. I'm using it for my bullet journal, to, for my daily planning of how I plan all my video content and my blog content and my personal life. And then this white one I'm using to write out the book of Psalms. I heard of somebody doing this once and I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool. I think I'm gonna do that for, you know, I write out, four or five or maybe six verses. It takes me under 10 minutes and I'm just going to write it out. And I figure when I get done, I get done. You know, if, if it doesn't happen this year, if I don't have it all done in a year, that's okay. If I get it done sooner, that's okay. I just am going to enjoy the process of it. All right. So let's lift up this edge. Oh yeah. I'm just going to go over it one more time. Then I'm going to show you we're about ready to wrap up. I really appreciate you being with me for half an hour. Golly. We're going to be finished up here in just a minute. Okay, let's see. I think I got it. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. Look, oh, look at that. Now, as I'm peeling, let's see if I can show you this. As I'm peeling, I'm going to pay attention to this side and make sure that nothing's staying on the clear stuff. I, Sorry, terminology is not the best for me. Uh, yep, see, you can tell there's no, there's no transfer on the back of that, so it's all stuck down really nice. That went on really fast. It seems to go on these softer finishes really fast. Oh, oh my gosh, you're going to love it. Look at that. Oh my, isn't that so pretty? It looks like it was made for that journal. Now I'm just going to take my pinky and I'm going to gently go over this whole thing and just make sure it's burnished down really, really good. The cool thing about doing this on a journal cover is it looks like it was hand painted on. It does not look like it does not look like what we just did. I can tell you that. It is it looks like it was just painted on. I got it. Look at that. Isn't that, oh my, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? Thank you. Skylark House, my friend Anna is saying she loves it. I really appreciate it. There are so many designs. I just saw somebody asking about designs. Um, I'm sorry, I can't read all of the, the text is a little small for me, sorry. But there are so many designs to choose from over on the Dixie Bell site. I have given you just, just the tip of the iceberg. You go over there, I've got the link down there. Just go to the see more and hop over there and take a look at all that they have to offer. There are so many designs to choose from of all styles. Like you saw the, the vintage one. There's my journal again. That's my bullet journal. That's like the French looking one. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, and then they have the, the other ones that it's more like this, like the flowers. There are bohemian flowers. There are, I'm looking at a stack of stuff over there. There's all sorts of designs. I know that you're going to enjoy looking at them. So make sure you click on that link and go look. So let's see what else. Let me look at my notes. 
Um, I, golly, I think we talked about everything. Golly, I can hardly believe it. I didn't even look at my notes. I think we talked about everything. So I really do appreciate you being here. It really does mean a lot to me that you've given me the support just by watching. I hope it was helpful. I hope that this video inspired you to make over a little table, like go out to a thrift store or, or, or an auction or yard sales are coming up right around the corner. Find yourself a little project to make over and make it really beautiful for just a few dollars and some enjoyment. I just, I just love being creative. I love doing these kind of things. It's so good for your mind and I know it'll be good for your mind as well. I can't think of anything else. Just go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and give me the thumbs up. I appreciate all the super thanks that y'all gave to me today. I really do appreciate it. Go down and subscribe to my email. I just want to send you free tutorials in your e-box, in your, in your e-box, in your inbox with email. <laughs> anyway, Cindy's getting a little tired. So I'm going to say good night and I will see you next time.